with a comprehensive faith in the name of Jesus. We shall move mountains. We shall heal the sick in that comprehensive faith in the name of Jesus. There is nothing impossible, oh impossible, in that comprehensive faith in the name of Jesus. We shall move mountains, we shall heal the sick. In that comprehensive faith in the name of Jesus, there is nothing impossible, oh impossible. In that comprehensive faith in the name of Jesus Christ, we shall move mountains, we shall heed the sick. In that comprehensive faith in the name of Jesus, there is nothing impossible, oh impossible. In that comprehensive faith in the name of Jesus, we shall move mountains, we shall seal the sick. In that comprehensive faith in the name of Jesus, there is nothing impossible. With the comprehensive faith in the name of Jesus. There is nothing impossible. There is nothing the Lord God most high, most powerful, most gracious, most true cannot do. We just want to awake from sleep. We have operated blindly in doubts, in fears, in unbelief. In setbacks, may God awake us from sleep and slumber in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm happy to see all of you. All of you from many parts of the world here already that have just hooked in immediately. I'm happy to see all of you. God will keep blessing you, prospering you. Yes, he will keep manifesting his glory, mercy, miracles, power to live for him in cleanliness and purity, in and out, in the mighty name of Jesus. When you have faith, you don't find it difficult to live a holy life. It will all flow. It will all move. I know many of you were blessed last two days ago when we were talking about faith, without faith. This is part two of it today. That's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to talk about. To God we are the glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Some of you, it is your morning, so good morning. Yeah, some of you, it is the afternoon, so good afternoon. Some of you, it is your evening, good evening. Whatever part of the world you are, you are blessed. Good things will follow you. That's why we said the word good. Good things will follow you in the mighty name of Jesus. Do you know that sometimes when things happen, your heart will jump up. That's the man in you. That's the human in you. My people said, you know, the person, that lions will always shiver. That shivering of a lion is not fear. It's only try to be strengthened. The moment you're doing anything with a lion, you get shivers like this and looks round about. Oh, then there is trouble. Then there is problem. You will rise. So the shivering of a lion, the shaking of a lion, the, 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 the being frightened of a lion is not fear. That's what the fright of a lion is not fear, but it gains momentum. Do you know that sometimes when a lion sees a human, he will run away. When, when he remembers who he is, the king of all animals. Mm -mm. I'll turn back, it turns back. That is how it happens to men of faith. Sometimes they see an issue wants to run away. They see an issue wants to run away in their bit of running and a voice will speak to them. But you can do better than this. You are great. Come on. You have the word of life in you. You have the word of power in you. You have the word of excellence in you. Come on, take over your ground. Like I was preaching last time. Faith acts on the word of God. 
I am not saying that you cannot run away from where you are for safety. I'm not saying that. But you run away because you heard God. You heard the word and voice of God. Joseph was told, take this child and go. God saw that their faith is not enough to carry them. Mary, just a baby, whatever, coming up. Very innocent woman. Joseph, just a carpenter. I, they don't have such faith. Say, so carry this child. But I have made them a choice. I've chosen them. Carry this child, go over to Egypt. And they obeyed. It's not that something is happening. People are, why are you running now? Why are you running? 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 Nobody can explain why people are running. That is not fit. You know why people are running. And they, you know what to do. People are running and running and running like that. Nobody could know. This person sees this person running. He start running. The other person sees somebody run. He start running. The other person, ah, running in the town. What happened? Until somebody, someone up courage and told the man and say, hey, people that were killing a cow, the car caught the road and the cow is running away and pursuing people. Ah, the man said, ah, cow. He went forward. He has been a cow dealer for years. He would have been running. With others in ignorance. If it is a bullet, you don't know how to do. Pia, you lie on the ground. You have to know what, why, 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 why. Know why you're running. A lot of people are running without reason. Why run? I saw people running, you know. They say, make when I run, I started running. Mm. And the man went forward with a big rope, threw it on the cow, got the cow down, died the cow. Him alone. Because that's business I've been doing for so many years. Hallelujah. Shall we pray? Most precious and true God, the Father of our Lord Jesus, speak your word to us. And let our word come forth. Let your word minister to our spirit, our soul, and our body. Let your word come back in fullness of power. That we will hear your word. And we shall be blessed of the word of God. Let this word of life, let this word of greatness of the Lord be our portion and our position. And let Christ's name be honored forevermore in the name of Jesus. Speak to that man, speak to that woman, speak to that boy, speak to that girl. Speak to that man, speak to that woman in the United States right now. The one in London, Lord, speak to them. The one in Italy, the one in Spain. Father, the one in Austria, speak to them. The one in all the continent of North America, the continent of South America, the one in Lagos, the one in Nigeria, yeah? the one in the continents of Africa, speak to them right now. Father, the ones in the continents of, continent of Europe, speak to them. The one in Australia, speak to them. Oh God, the ones in Asia, speak to them. My King and my God, speak to us round about the world, where people are logging in and plugging in, O oh Lord, and let Christ them be honored. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. God bless you all. God bless you. I can see your faces. This is another beautiful day the Lord has made. We've got to rejoice and be glad in it. Today we're still dealing on that topic. Yes, without faith. We're dealing with on the topic that says without faith. This is part two of it. May God bless you as you partake in part two of without faith. Can you share this message right now? Can you awaken people up? Can you tell people comfort, 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 comfort? A lot of people say, hey, this message is too much, this message is too much. It, let it not just be too much without you implementing them. I will see the too muchness of it by the time you begin to tell me your testimonies. By the time you begin to tell me the things and the miracles that has been happening in your life. I want you to share this message right now so that a lot of people are going to be involved. And also, let it be that many, many, many people have, got, have gotten this message. And Christ's name shall be honored. You remember that whenever you have faith, a lot of things will try to challenge your faith. A lot of things will fight your faith. That's why there are people that have climbed up the ladder of faith. They have been climbing and climbing and climbing the ladder of faith to a high point. But all of a sudden, before you understand it, boom, they fall back. The devil don't want you to live by faith. Remember what I taught you last two days ago. I said there are three types of faith. Number one is faith of man. Faith of man is doubt. Number two is faith of devil. Faith of devil is fear. While the original faith is faith of God. Forget all in trust in him. That is faith. You forget about all. Supposing I die, 
Faith is all about taking risk for Christ. You and Jesus taking risk together. That is faith. Faith is acting on the word of God. When you act on the word of God, Faith is you moving and acting when everybody misunderstands you, but the word of God becomes your comfort and consolation. The word of God says, go, go ahead. Yeah, 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 yeah. Faith is when God breathed a particular verse of the scripture in your heart, which is called the Rema word. The Rema, the Rema, the Rema, the Rema, the Rema. He breathes a particular word of life in your mind. And the moment he breathed that word of life in you, you begin to act. Oh my God, that means you're seeing the invisible. Nobody's seeing what you're seeing. You begin to go ahead. You begin to move on. Because you're a woman of faith, because you're a man of faith, you go ahead with faith. For without faith, it is impossible to please God. And you have chosen to please God. But you cannot please him in fear. Hmm? You can. You have to do, now that you're getting this language and the, this ministry of faith, the administration of faith, Come on, go ahead with it. My wife said something that, you know, lifted up my spirit this afternoon. She said something when she was saying it, I got Rema out of it. My wife made a powerful statement. My wife said, when, that everything St. Paul did, he did it with all his mind. That when he was a terror to Christians, when he was killing Christians, when he was arresting Christians, when he was taking life out of Christians, he did it with all his mind to an extent of getting a letter from the high priest. When he turned to be a savior, he was he, he, that no, the way she made the statement is that when Saul was a killer, he was going house to house killing because that was the letter he received. Going to house to house, receive, you know, arresting them. And when God turned his mind, he was still going to house to house, saving lives again. That means whatever thing it was, he did it with all his mind. Stop operating in fear. You can pray for three hours, four hours, five hours. You don't sleep every night. Ba, 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 ba. But you don't believe your prayers. You pray, 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 pray. And the small thing, it move their head. Like you say, oh, oh, they have come. They are too stubborn. They are not going. This spirit is too stubborn. Which stubborn? Which stubborn are they? It's simply because you don't operate by faith. You are moving with the visible eyes. You are still living with what you are seeing. But today, if you can take a decision, remember I told you we're exposing the book of Genesis, uh, 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 book of Hebrew from chapter one, uh, Hebrew eleven from verse number one. We're going to expose them one by one. We will only do well in verse one last uh, uh, day before yesterday. We do well on verse one that said, "Now faith is the substance of things so for the evidence of things not seen." If you have not gone to part one, please join part one. Listen to part one. It is in our Facebook. Uh, a page it is also I've, I've kept it and i've sent it uh in youtube to be part of the youtube like our facebook you know follow us on facebook follow us in youtube too so that every message will come to you and you will listen to them stop dying god made you to live and not to die are you hearing what i'm saying you are not meant to die you are meant to live you are meant to live, and it must be by faith. Today, he say, for by it, the elders obtain good report. The elders, the elders, who are the elders? The people that live before us. Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, they obtain, that is, the only thing that will make you to obtain good report before God must be faith. Are you hearing me? It must not be fear. It is only faith that makes you to obtain good report. Because faith is the nature of God. Fear is the nature of the devil. How can you be a child of God, a powerful man of God, a powerful woman of God, anointed of the Lord, and then you still have fear inside of you? Every small thing, fear will come. I'm not, as a human, fear may come. You use the word of God and hit fear immediately. Like what I was saying before, why are you running when you don't know what is pursuing you? A man of God woke up in the morning, very early in the morning, he was going for a program. Very early in the morning, he was going to a particular church, and people were running. Boop, 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 boop. The women that were going to market in Africa, their goose got thrown away. They are distant. Everybody was running and running. And the man of God said, what's pursuing you? They said, there are two giant dogs, very mighty giant dogs coming away. The man of God said, dog cannot stop me from going to preach the word of God. He was trekking that morning to go to that church and minister the word. He said, Let, go on, come on, come on, come on. I have a supernatural power. I have a being moving with me. And the being is stronger than the lion. If you can give David grace, if you can give something grace to kill a lion, 
then why can't I do this? Come on, go on, come on, come on, come on. When you are talking about faith, you must first of all speak to yourself. Are you hearing me? You speak to your mind, and then you lift up your mind. You lift up your thought, you lift up your mind, and then you become above the situation. That is why, don't you see what happened? The, the, the Goliath used the word. He told David, I will kill you, I will destroy you, I will eat your meat, I will do this and this, da 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 da. I will give your body to the bed of the air to eat, this and this, da 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 da. He didn't say I will eat your meat, but he said, I will give your body to the bed of the air to eat. Ba 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 ba. And David spoke word of faith. Remember, David has not been to war before, he has not been a soldier before. But God was giving him a hard training in the inside. There are many of you that must not have been called into full-time ministry, but God is dealing with you, giving you powerful experiences because you're coming out to be somebody. Are you hearing me? There are only training, there are great trainings that no man can give to you except God through situation and circumstance. But when these trainings are coming, so many of us become indifferent. So many of us begin to ask God the question, what is it that I have not done for you? Am I not paying my tithe? Am I not praying? Am I not fasting? Or what is this? I am just weak and tired of the whole thing. We talk to God as if he's our kitchen boy. But you don't know that your faith needed to go up. Your faith needed to grow high. God is know why you're passing through the experience of life. Not to say a lot of armed robbers, God allowed them. They'll continue stealing after a time. They'll be arrested by the word of God. And they become extraordinary preachers. Some people have gone into demonic power and occultism. They preach the devil and serve the devil. Hey, look at, let, let, let me tell you. Before you understand, God will get them arrested. How can somebody so much trust the devil to understand that he can go far for the devil and do things for the devil? Eh? And then the devil is who is a killer, who is a destroyer. Somebody so much trust him. Eh? I said, devil, as I is lying down, he's going to do yoga or he's going to do astral travel. Okay? He will allow the devil to come and take his mind out, show him this and this, supposing it's cut off. That would be the end of life. That would have been his end. But... These people so much trusted the devil. Then how much more you trust in God? Remember to the faith, F-A-I-T-H, mean forget all in trusting him. Forget all in trusting him. Five letter words, faith. You don't see it. You say it is happenable. You don't see it, but you say the word of God have said it. I have seen it in the Bible. I am going to operate it. Look at what Bible said, the word of God. So what the man of God did was, he told this people, they were laughing at him, blah, 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 blah. Your faith must be laughed at. When your faith is not laughed at, then you are not acting faith. When your faith is not so misunderstood, you are not acting faith. Look at the Lord Jesus of Nazareth, when he went to Jairus' house to pray for the daughter that was dead. He told them, why are you, why are you doing what you are doing? Faith has the language it uses. He uses the language of faith. Who told you he is dead? People, the People that were crying, laugh him to scorn. Just like David they did to Goliath. You come to me with spare, with javelin, with this and this and that, but I come to you in the name of God of Israel. That is faith. He was not seeing the giant. He was looking up when he was talking. He was looking up. And when you see the slim David was using, all the armor that was given to him was too heavy for him. He said, I cannot carry this armor. I cannot carry this armor. It is too heavy. It is too this for me. I am not going to carry this armor. And what did David did? What David did was he removed them, went down to stream, and picked five pebbles. Ah! The Philistine got offended. He's not even protecting himself. Moreover, he's a very small boy. Saul gave him advice. You see, before faith will walk out, a lot of things will trigger fear. You, you know, you can't fight this man. This and when, because when Saul gave him the armor, he was too heavy. Oh, oh, the armor. He couldn't even carry the armor. Saul became disappointed. The only one among us who has accepted to fight this Goliath, eh, who has a fight, uh, decided to fight this giant, he cannot even carry an armor. He cannot even carry an armor. Eh, he becomes so discouraged. God does not save by the physical things. He saved by his power and grace. That's the word of God. That is the word of faith we have had. Believe him. He is God. Believe him. He is everything. Are you hearing me? That's the word of faith. By it, the elders obtain good report. And what happened? The Bible, the scripture said, I'm telling you, the good report that was obtained by the elders. David is one of the elders. He obtained good report by faith. Who taught David the faith? Look, let me tell you, when you hook yourself with God and come closer to God, the life of God and the nature of God will possess you. And that is faith. Instead of you to be complaining and complaining on a particular issue every time. 
Complaining on a particular issue every day. Complaining on a particular issue every moment. You have read it. You have sang it. You have uh, thought it. You have uh, uh, dribbled around it. You have gone around about it. Yet it remains impossible for you. No. For Bible says, for with God, nothing shall be impossible. God can do all things. God can do all things. They obtain good report. You see, there's a level God will look at us and he will say, Mary is a baby. Mary was just a baby. That's why when the angel I tell him he's going to have a baby. And Mary said, ah, how can this thing happen now? How can this happen? I'm not married. Then they said, you will see it happen. For with God, nothing shall be impossible. But when God spoke to a matured man like Zachariah, the father of John the Baptist, Zachariah was doubting. God said, no, 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 you're past this level. But show me, sir. God said, you have sign of dumbness and deafness. You see, God was annoyed with him. You should have concord and agreed with me. You should have agreed with me that I'm God and I can do all things through my power of possibilities. I have done it before. I can do it again. Oh my God. The, through it, the elders obtain good report. Through your faith, it, you will obtain a report that you pleased God. You will obtain a report that you lived a holy life. You would have obtained a report that nothing was impossible in your days. You would have obtained a report that you moved in the glory and power of the Lord. You were sensitive to the Holy Spirit and the Word of God. Faith is being sensitive to the Holy Spirit and moving according to the Word of the Holy Spirit. You may be wanting to do something here and now the Holy Ghost will leave you, leave you, leave you, leave you, go, 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 go. Leave you now, leave you now, leave you. Pew, you leave that place. And before understanding, they say, ah, this happened, this happened, this happened, this happened. That is faith. Acting according to the word of God. Either the spoken word of God, Rema, or the written word of God, which is Logos. This is what Bible said here about this situation. No, for with God, nothing shall be impossible. So the man of God moved ahead, and the dog were doing, whoa, 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 they were coming. The man of God was going, and the dog that was pursuing people became afraid and ran away from the man of God. The dogs ran away. The man of God went and the dog ran into a particular compound. They saw somebody with majesty. They saw somebody with a different power. They saw somebody with boldness. Faith will give you boldness. Faith does not make you timid. Are you hearing me? That's what the Bible says us in 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 7 that God has not given us spirit of fear, but of power, love, and of sound mind. Are you hearing me? Of power, love, and sound mind. That's what God has given to you. He has not given you spirit of timidity. He has not given you spirit of fear. He has not given you spirit to live in fear every minute, every second. Ah, how is it going to happen? Oh, 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 oh. Stop asking how it's going to happen. There are a lot of people, instead of them to need their miracle and their healing, their prayers is that, I want to know who is the person that did this thing. Who is the person that did this thing? You are not acting by faith. Who is the person? If you know the person, what will you do? The people were wanting to know it. Is it the father? Is it the mother that committed sin? That this happened? This? God, I want to know. Instead of you to say, God, heal me. In the process of healing, he can reveal something to you. Are you hearing me? We're talking about faith. You have the way so much in this place. Was it not what Jesus told that man? For 37 years, 38 years, you have been in one problem. You have been long in this problem. You have the way so much here. Jesus was not happy. Whenever you are not operating by faith, Jesus is not happy with you. And faith is not what you operate for one day. Anything you do without faith, you are living in sin. Are you hearing me? Anything you do without faith is sin. The man of God was walking, and the dog saw him and ran away. They saw a man of power. They saw a man of glory. They saw a man that's carrying the presence of the Lord. So will the devil and demons see you and begin to run away? That anywhere you step, anywhere you go. No wonder the Bible says, the effective, fervent prayer of a righteous man avalet much. That is the measurement in the physical. When you pray like that, your prayer becomes answered because of what? Not because you have two heads, not because you have four hands, but because you believe the word of God, you've spoken the word of God, you move by the word of God. Because the word of God is powerful and active. Are you hearing me? When you speak the word of God, God will allow the word to come out of your mouth. As the word is coming out of your mouth, it turns to be the word of God and no more your word because it is the word of God they have spoken and the word of God will go to that situation and begin to act immediately and begin to move immediately because that is God coming forth. It is God you are introducing into the situation. Are you not the Lord that said this? Are you not God that said this? Are you not God that said this? Especially when you're living a clean life, when you're living a pure life, when you're living a holy life, when you're living a dedicated life, when purity and righteousness is the order of the day. Like what I told you, if you live a clean, pure, holy life, you don't need to struggle with sin. You don't need to struggle with sin. When you live pure, clean, holy life and you have faith, you don't struggle to live anymore. You will be climbing the step of highness, of greatness, of upliftment. When you come in finance, you have finance. When you come in the world, you have the 
the world. When you come in fear of God, you have the fear of God. When you come in overcoming temptation, you overcome temptation. Mm, I like that, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Through it, the elders obtain a report. What report are you obtaining today? What are you taking care of your vicinity? Are you in control of your vicinity? Do they know you in your vicinity? That you are a man of child, a child of God, a man of God, a woman of God, a man of power, a man of action. Do they know you there? Or what is happening to everybody is happening to you. The fear that's happening to everybody is happening to you. The pain that happened to everybody is happening to you. The sickness happening to everybody is happening to you. What is the difference between you and the world? What then is the difference between you and unbelievers? What then is the difference between you and all these people? No, 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 no. No, there must have been a different because you are not ordinary. You are not of this world. That's what the Bible said. We're in this world, but we're not of this world. There must be a grace. There must be something extraordinary proving that you are not of this world. That you came from somewhere and you're going from somewhere. There must be. Remember, I told you that faith is a spiritual currency. Through which you import from heaven. And it is the love of heaven that we're introduced to live here on earth. That's why when you read the Bible, you become a conch, believing child of God. When you walk, your case becomes different. The man was walking, the man of God was the rat, the dog turned into one company. And the man, people of the company came in. And who is pursuing the dog? Look at the speed the dog is running in with. And the man of God spoke to them. And the man of God told them, Why do you allow this dog to come out very early? Look at women going to market, embarrassing them, fighting them, and doing a lot of things. Some of them have lost their goose today. And the people of the the, the, the owners of the dog say, Oh, sorry, we didn't know that this dog came out. We didn't know that these dogs are toothless. Their teeth have been removed. They come back, but they cannot bite. Oh, you see what I've been making a lot of people to fail. Fear has so tormented you. You cannot die twice. It just wants you to die. Bible says it's appointed one from unto the after that, the judgment. But yet, so many people have died 10, 20, 30 times before their real time. But it, the elders of 10 good report. Look at the report David obtained. Everything, 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 everything whatsoever, everything whatsoever. He forgot it. He forgot that he was a small boy. He forgot the business that was prospering in his hand. All the sheep he left in the forest, he forgot about them. He forgot that his family background was poor. He forgot about the discouragement of his brothers. The his brother to discourage. Who is that person? Who is asking that question? What should be done for anybody that will kill the giant? And did Goliath is parading that morning and making a noise. If you do, <coughs> other soldiers will say, Oh, you want to challenge? He said, You know, I have cough now. Huh? <laughs> so you want Goliath to look towards this thing? And then, no, I don't know who is the Goliath of your life. Every Goliath of your life will collapse from this moment in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That Goliath might be mathematics in the primary or secondary school in your life. Yeah, that might be Goliath. Goliath might be that poverty that has so bind and tied every member of your family. That might be the Goliath of your life. That Goliath might be that particular sin of immorality. That sin of masturbation. It might be that sin of uncleanliness or evil thought that has so paraded in your life. But you have ability and power to deal with it once and for all. Do you know, so many of us are supposed to be in the spiritual university right now, but we are, we are still in the kindergarten. We are still in the kindergarten. Oh, mama, 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 mama. Come on. What is that? Forget about your background. Forget about your failure. Like what I was talking yesterday. Somebody took exam and fell. Took exam and fell. Took exam again and fell. And then become discouraged. I cannot make it. I cannot make it. The Bible said the righteous man shall fail seven times and still have, and still, you know, a, a righteous man shall fail seven times and still rise up seven times again. How many times have you fell in life? Why are you so discouraged? You put in that business. It didn't work. Did you pray? Did you get to your location? One thing or the other thing. You know, failure is an opportunity to study more. So that by the time you come back, you make it. I was a failure in primary three. In, in second, in primary school, I was in primary three, I was a failure. I repeated primary three, went to primary four. From primary four, I started picking the first, first, second, third, first, second, third, until I became to first, 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 in everything in school. Are you hearing me? It was as a result of failure that made me to rise. If God allow you to fail anywhere, come on, learn a lot of lessons and don't mumble. Are you hearing me? Failure. Success is a failure that is turned upside down. Do you know that is what it is? And then you are living, crying like a child of God. Which is the elders obtain the report. What report of your faith have you obtained? Whom and whom have you prayed for? A miracle begin to happen. What is the proof of you being a child of God? What can you do that an unbeliever cannot do?
There must be things that money cannot buy. The Bible said there is a place where the vulture's eye cannot go. Except the ego's eye can go to that level. There's a thing that will make you great. There's a thing that will move you. Hallelujah. When there is a terror in the town, a man of God needs to come out. A child of God needs to come out. A man of faith needs to come out and begin to do it divinely. A miracle will happen. Child of God. Why have you thrown away your faith? Why have you done others, done others in fear? A lot of things will clamor fear, like Goliath was moving people. He is passing this and that. Everybody was bending down. Stop bending down for that Goliath. Are you hearing me? So the Bible said, For by it the elders obtain a good report. What is the report about you? The elders have gone. Abraham have gone. Isaac have gone. Jeremiah have gone. And so many people have gone. Do you remember that prophet? He told the king, You will not win that battle. The king said, put him in prison until I come back. He told the king, you are not even coming back. The king said, me, in short, let me not talk. The king went and never came back. Huh? The king went and never came back. By faith, Elijah stood and said, I lock up heaven. And heaven honored it. Let me tell you, whenever you speak word of faith, heaven backs you up. Whenever you speak the word of faith and say, this is what I have spoken. With authority given to me. Do you, don't you know your authority? Bible said he called them and gave them power and authority. Cast away the devil. Do this. And so many of you will see demons in the dream and begin to say, I don't know. You know, three years ago, I saw this demon. Four years ago, that particular woman, he appeared like a man. He appeared like a woman. I've been seeing this and this. Are you not ashamed? What you have been given authority to handle and deal with is what I've been squeezing and fighting you. It goes and come. It goes and come. And you have boldness to talk about it. Shame. You are not operating by faith. You are no more or you are ignorant of who you are. It's either you are not operating by faith or you are ignorant of who you should be and who you are. You are the light of the world. Are you hearing me? Because of only Peter. The Bible said James was killed. And Peter was imprisoned. The apostle turned the everything into prayers. Pray! They made a mistake, just was killed, they didn't pray. For Peter's sake, no, we must pray. That's the weapon we have. But when you pray, do you believe your prayers? Was it not rather that was there? And Peter was knocking, when the angel have released him, the angel of the Lord came down and intervened. Soldiers were there. Forget about soldiers. God had been dealing with soldiers for time immemorial. The soldiers were there at the grave of Jesus. What happened? Were they not sleeping when he resurrected? Who is the soldier they use in guiding you? Uh, we said it can have about 185,000 of them. What happened? On one night, just one small angel came and killed all of them. Eh? The angels at the grave of Jesus, what happened to them? Were well, they not sleeping when the king of glory arose? Ah! The Moabites, the Amorites, that came, and people of Marseille, they were like sound, see, that came. God had been dealing with soldiers from time immemorial. Come on, stop being afraid of soldiers and their weapons and whatever. And before you understand it, the Bible, the word of God said, they fought themselves and they all died. You see, when one was asked to come and arrest Elisha, and what happened, Elisha came and said, all of you be blind. Men of God, where are we? Come on, let's arise. Because we don't have time to get to God and get power. That's why we're busy celebrating ourselves. We're celebrating our bad day. We're celebrating our bad day. We're celebrating the day the church began. We're celebrating the day of our mistake. We're celebrating every nonsense. Because we don't have time again with the most high. Because the current have been cut off. Do you know what many of us look like? Many of us, many children of God and men of God are looking like monuments. We are looking like monuments. Do you see that pole, electric pole that brings light into your house? Until there is current in it, the, light, the pole and the wire is useless. Many of us are like monuments. You have been connected, the pole is that, the wire is that, but there is no current flowing. Come on, come back to current right now. Come back to current and say, God, I flow in the power of mine. I flow in the power of current right now. Any power, any devil that come before me, I'll shock the devil. Come on, say, I'll shock the devil. You can only shock the devil when there is current in you. When there is a divine current in you. Every child of God is a transformer. Are you hearing me? You are a transformer. You transform anything that comes near you. Because you're connected to high tension power of glory. High tension power of Jesus of Nazareth. That is the way where we are living. People don't live under high tension because if you come, ah, people will die. And that is who you are. Before light is connected from you, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Before light is connected from you, there must be a transformer. 
so that you'll be begged, I beg, I beg, I beg. They called Elijah, come down from that place, come down from that mountain. Elijah said, if I be a man of God, if I be a man of God, let fire come down and get you come show my candara, my ma, 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 ma. And the Bible, the word of God said, fire got them burnt. And that group come and say, ah, you are still there. I have seen other soldiers that are dead. If you don't come down from there right now, I will deal with you. Come down before I come up. Elijah says, if I be a man of God, fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. And fire came down. Today we're shouting empty fire. Somebody shout fire, yeah, yeah. Fire, yeah, yeah. Fire does not come through emptiness. It come by praying. It come by believing your prayers. It come by faith. It come by living a holy life. It come by living a righteous life. That is where it come down from. That's what makes the difference between you and unbeliever. There must be a difference. You're still falling today. You're falling into this sin. And you repent today. You fall again. Stop falling into that sin. Take a decision and say, God, give me grace and ability. I shall not fall into this sin anymore. I have an overcoming ability. For the Bible says, the same God will give you grace to overcome every situation, every sin. That in every sin that comes your way, God will give you ability to overcome that sin. Who are you? Since five years, ten years, fifteen years, you got born again. You are still saying, brother, pray for me. Man of God, pray for me. Oh, pray for me. Pray for me. You remain on pray, 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 pray for me. You have passed that level, my dear. We're talking about the word of faith. You don't see it. You believe in the invisible. You say, I'll do the possible. You came from your family and say, in the name of Jesus, this family have known for poverty. I was talking to one boy. He actually gave me an analogy of your family. He began to come from five, six, seven, eight generations. He told them nobody from eight generations have seen light in their family. I said, now nah, that is why you're born in this family. You first of all have a spiritual light, which is salvation and power of God, and then the financial light will flow and walk in you. Come on, break this yoke. Why should I allow the devil to tie you up? Tie your mind, tie your thought, tie your idea, everything in you, you remain in bondage. And then you say, I'm born again. I'm a child of God. Who told you you're a child of God when you're still under the bondage of the devil and demon and power of darkness? When you're under the bondage of high blood pressure? When you're under the bondage of your doctor and the daily drugs is given to you? I told you, the people that have faith, the people that move by faith and are prayed by faith, they will consult the creator. People that move by fear will consult their doctor. Stop limiting God and his power. Stop limiting the ability of this great man of war. For great is his faithfulness. Hallelujah. By this, the elders of ten good report. What is the report you're obtaining? What is the report? One man of God in Nigeria was going for morning devotion. They know they go in. He's a mighty man of God. He's have been used greatly by God. He's a man with a great God. So about seven armed robbers waited for him on the way. By the time he came out, pam, they pointed the gun on him. Hey, hey, stop there now, we kill you. The man of God looked around about them and said, In the name of Jesus of Nazareth, drop your gun or you meet the anger of the Lord. Bada, 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 bada. They have three guns. They dropped their guns and ran away. The man of God collected their gun and went to church with the gun. And after prayer, he handed the gun over to the police. I don't need this gun. But many of us are having a scout. We have army. We have mob. Then we preach to people faith, 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 faith. We talk faith to people and we wear bulletproof all over all. We have army. We have soldier. We have police. Is that how the air does obtain good report in the old? Let's stop deceiving ourselves. Let's stop deceiving. Me and every man of God, may we never deceive people anymore. Let's tell them the truth of the word of God and the raw as it is. Any bullet, any knife that will pierce me, it means I have finished. If any gun, oh, on this head now, the head is blown up, it means I have finished. If I have not finished, a man of God, they came to kill him. He laughed. He preached on faith that day. Then, they came to try his faith. Anything you preach, you'll be tried with it. Before you understand it, bam, they came out immediately. Bam! While he was walking, they said, we'll kill you. The man said, you came here. You came here. The man said, sorry, my life is not in your hands. You see, when Herod was threatening Jesus, that's a good report. When he was threatening Jesus, I'll kill you. And Jesus said, sorry, unless the power is given to you. He said, I have power to release, I have power to kill. He said, unless the power is given to you. You are a child of God. Nobody can do you anything unless the power is given to them. From above. And above is the headquarters of God. From the throne of God. That is the only thing that can happen to you. But when you're already falling in fear, when you've already submitted yourself, when you're already panicking, and when you're already shaking, mm, you can't stand for the devil. You can't stand against the devil. You can't stand face to face and tell the devil it doesn't happen. It will not happen. It will not work. Hey, you don't know that. If you're a man of faith, you are a terror to the devil and power of darkness. 
They would like to throw a lot of sin closer to you so that you commit sin and fail. You don't know that. They would like to try sin of fornication. If you're a man, then, or even a woman, if you don't fall into it, they bring sin of lie or sin of adultery, sin of anger, provocation, so that you will easily be provoked. So that the devil and power of darkness can come in. You are a man of it. I was doing deliverance one day, and the demon manifested. And begin to torture the brother. And begin to torture the brother. Ha! I said, what happened? Why are you dealing with him? The demon said, I told him to pay in a tithe is a sin. And therefore, he stopped paying it. And I brought him down financially. I said, ah. And he's selling leather. Leather, skin leathers. Which we used to do band and do other things. He said to him, native doctor come to buy it and they use it to do this and this and that. You are selling things used by native doctors. Don't native doctor use dresses. Don't they buy uh, other things. Even sweet and hacks, they use it in doing nonsense. He said the fate of the brother came down. The devil, if you see what happened that day, the devil turned that brother into madness. I said, devil, but who gave you this right? Are you a gent of God that scout for tight? He said he doesn't know his right. That is why I, 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 I decided to trouble him. Oh. The, no wonder the Bible says you will know the truth. And the truth shall set you free. Child of God, we're talking about the word of it. Okay, that's about that verse. They obtain good report. What report have you obtained since you got born again? What have people spoken about? When I was even in secondary school, when I got born again, there was one woman that died in my area. The woman was a powerful woman. And two months, three months, some months when the, before the woman, when the woman, uh, after the death of the woman. Some months. Ah. There was terror. Seven, seven, thirty people have gone in. People will see in the death and they will keep seeing the woman. Yeah, look at her, look at her. Look. One woman was shot to look at her. I saw her, I saw her, I saw her. And the woman fell off. And that woman said, I saw her, I saw her. She came and carried, the woman had twins. She, she came and carried one of the twins. People were, up to six, seven people died. Ah. And people will be sleeping very early. One day I went out by 9 o'clock. I was knocking. They were shouting and shouting. I said, it's me. Open door. I just got born again newly then. What is it? Don't you hear what is happening? I said, open door. I said something to me. Why, why, why now? This, I said, nothing is happening. Until I tell them nothing will happen again. I went to the grave of that woman. I saw it was broken. I said, hey, that's where the devil panicked. I said, that woman is dead. It's not her that is moving. A particular demon rose up. And torturing everybody. It is the devil, it is demon, it is power of darkness that is torturing people. And not this thing. Come on, stop that. I made a decree that night. Prayed over her grave. And that was how people have freedom. So that when anything happened, they say, look for him. Because they know you are in charge of that vicinity. You must control the territory. At least if not territory, start with your family. Let everybody in your family know. Everybody in the family of Jesus knew what he can do and the ability in him, including the mother. We're going to talk about that. Eh? We're talking about faith. Faith is that you don't see it with your physical eyes. But the word of God said, in my name you cast away the devil. Say, ah! Do you know what triggered me? The year I got born again, uh, yes, I got born again around February. March, April, May, June, July, August. The same year, I was just six months in faith and I started deliverance ministry. Why? I got born again by February. And by April, uh, February, March, April, yeah. A man came. April, May, around April or May. A man came with power, praying. Demon were manifesting. Say, yeah. What kind of man is this? Where does he come from? Does he come from the moon? That he can pray and demon possess manifest. I say, my God. No. I need this type of power. I have no connection to him. I couldn't assess him. I went in and started praying. I said, God, I need this type of power. As few months I was in the Lord, I heard a voice that told me, can you fast? I said, yes, now I can fast. I need this power. This man is a challenge to me. Today, nothing challenges you in Christianity. You are just, uh, let's join there and find again. God is looking for people with great zeal. People with faith. People that
Jesus said, choose me. I am the one to be chosen. I want to go. I will stand for you. These are men and women God is using, wanting to use. I said, God, use me. He said, can you fast? I said, how many days? He said, no matter of days. I, 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 I said, how many weeks? He said, no matter of weeks. I said, eh? He said, can you fast for one month? I was just very few. Very young in the law. Me few months. I said, yes. I went into 30 days. In the classroom, my eyes will be open like this. But I will not be seeing the blackboard. Have I done fasting before? I've not done such long fasting. Sister, 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 for 30 days, I was seeking for him. My faith grew up. My faith went higher in him. I didn't tell anybody what I was doing. I was not discussing my issues with anybody. I didn't tell anybody, I am fasting. I'm doing. No, 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 no. I forgot. Do you know that the more you get closer to God, the humbler you become. Any person that says, yeah, I'm a great man of God. I've seen God manifest to me. You're not great. It's not because of greatness that God manifested to you. The more he manifests, the humbler you become. Nobody will even know you have such power. Nobody will even know. Let us stop living by compl uh, stop complaining. You complain about Tom, you complain about Harry, you complain about D, you complain about the spoon, you complain about your oven, you complain about your gas. You go, ah! That time you use in complaining, use it to speak a word. The moment you speak a word is a creative power, is a creative ability. The word of God is powerful and lively and very, very active. Are you hearing me? The day God described anointing for me, as a son, Anointing, anointing, breast the yolk. I said, what is anointing? And I saw a liquid with sharp teeth. If he drop on it, beep, 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 it will break the thing. And God told me, anointing is a liquid with a sharp teeth. I said, wow. Ha! Ah, is that why it breaks yolk? Is that why it breaks yolk? And God told me, it doesn't only break one yolk. The container that contains it, it doesn't break it. As far as the container is there in righteousness, in holiness. Child of God. You have faith in you, but you are not using it. Faith is like your two hands. You know, do you know, if I want to take something up now, I'll lift up my two hands, I'll take what I want to take. That is faith. You are waiting for a, an issue to come before you lift it up. Go out and win souls. Pray for them in the street. One evening like that, I was coming somewhere. I saw a man almost at the middle of the road. Around 7.38. I saw a man almost at the middle of the road. I said, ah. But then I've not seen. I said, "Why?" The man said, "He's a blind man. They are begging, and uh, he want the, the person that is leading him stopped him here to go and buy something at the other store." I said, "Okay, okay, 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 okay." I said, "Sir, I'm a, I, I, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I was just still in secondary school." I said, "Can I pray with you? My God can heal your eyes." He said, "Yeah." I've never seen anybody that pray for any blind by then, and the blind eyes open. I've never seen it in my life. The man said, I said, yeah, we can pray. We prayed. When we were praying, the man was shaking and shaking. He opened his eyes. I said, ah. We're in the middle of the road, though. We're in the middle of the... I said, you have been here for long, sir. It's now your eyes have been opened. May your eye be open, child of God. May your eye be open, child of God, so that you see the great difference. Hallelujah. They obtain good report. Now, let's go to verse 3. Through faith, we understand that the word we are framed by the word of God. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Look, look, look at what he said again. We're framed by the word of God. So that things which are seen, we are not made of anything which do appear. Things that we are seen, we are made out of things that does not appear. Come on, you're waiting to build a house and you're waiting when your money will accumulate. The earth itself came from nothing. Oh my God, what a man of faith Jesus is. And he said we can do better than him. He never attended the funeral ceremony. He turned every funeral into merriment. He turned funeral into ceremony. Oh my God. He never attended the funeral ceremony. Check your Bible. When he got there, he turned the funeral into, into joy. But today, we're going all these things and all this way. May we be challenged about it. That out of nothing, when I was in the Bible college, the Lord was leading the ministry to me about this evangelistic ministry, pumping it in my heart, leading it in my heart. I was groaning with it. I was praying. When other students would be playing, eating, I would come back from the school. I would lock myself and sleep in the day. When they are sleeping in the night, I will begin to pray. I begin to pray. Let me tell you, there is no man that is created extraordinary. Any man that does extraordinary things has spent extra time with the Lord. When you are sleeping in the night, he's busy doing something. 
doing creative work and creative ability. The word of God you speak is the word of power of creation. The word of God can begin to create and recreate again. God told me that he did not finish creation. He only introduced creation and allow us to finish it. Are you hearing me? God told me as a son, I did not finish creation. I introduced it and allowed you. Who produced plan you are using? Is it God? Is it not man through wisdom? The phone we are using now, who created it? Many things you are using, the motor car, the electricity. Is it not through the wisdom God gave men that they created it? Eh? What is your own creation? What are the things you create that people can look at and say, Oh, wow. Bible says occupy till I come. You're occupying in fear. Occupying the trouble. Occupying pains. So many children of God have so lost hope that they become too hopeless that it cannot be done again. Do you think you get to that hell, heaven with that hopelessness? No. God must give you the divine direction. Get back and tell God I have messed it up somewhere. Ha! This man that I never attended funeral ceremony, is he not an extraordinary man? Is he not a man extraordinary? The Lord Jesus Christ. The thorn funeral ceremony into joy and peace and merriment. Oh my God. The Bible said the world was created out of nothing. When I was in Bible college, I had nothing, 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 and nothing, and nothing, and nothing. The idea of this ministry, evangelistic ministry, came to me in 1987, and I was cooking it in 1988. It was growing in me. It was giving me a burden. I came back, and I spoke to somebody. I wanted to share my ideas. Mind who you share your idea with. There are discouragers. My, my, my. Except we have enough word. There are people God have given powerful revelation and vision since 10 years, 15, 20, 30, 40 years. The thing is dying inside of them because they cannot pump it out. They cannot push it out. They don't have enough faith to do it. They are powerful inside and very, very weak outside. They are powerful poor people. They are powerful poor men. They are powerful weak men. Because the power is in them. But the ability to manifest it is not there. Come on. You can do better than that. You can own a business empire, even as a child of God, and preach holiness, and preach righteousness, and preach purity, and your business can go and grow. You must not remain under employment by people every time and every day. You can grow above that level. You can grow above servant level. Jesus said, you are no more servant. You are my friend. You can grow as a friend of Jesus of Nazareth. We are talking about the word of faith. Who is binding you? Come on, loose from that bondage. Loose from that myopicness right now, and let something be begin to happen and walk in you right now the world was created out of nothing so by the time i came back i spoke to one man do you know why a lot of people make a lot of mistake because you see somebody who is paying you peanuts peanut eh? they're paying peanuts you pay some tithe into your ministry paying some tithe into your life you begin to pay them the people that pay more and do this are the people i hit more because i didn't ask you to do it if god tell you to do it if you don't do it he will remove your peace I don't pray and beg you. Can you pay me tight? Can you sell me? No, 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 no. I don't do that. I am called by him. I live by faith. That's why I tell people I live by faith. I don't know where my next meal is going to come from. All I need to do is to live and look unto him and please him. The more I live for him and please him, he will provide my meal. He is my provider. He is my everything. He is my supplier. He supplies my needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. That's what the Bible said. All I need to do is to quote the Bible, stand on the Bible, believe the Bible, I speak the Bible, confess the Bible, live on the Bible. Your word has said this thing, oh God. Can't I receive it? Can't I have it? And then it begins to come my way. We're talking about faith. No, the word you see is created out of nothing. Out of nothing. Out of nothing. That's what the Bible, the word of God said. The word you are seeing today is created out of nothing. Oh my God. The whole word. I spoke to the young man. In those days, he, said he was a deaconess in the church in those days. A deacon, I mean. I said, I have a vision. I'm going to look at the kind of ministry I want to run. He said, <laughs> where will you get the money you're talking about? You're a student to do what you're talking about. All of a sudden, a word turned out in me. Bim! I said, God created the world out of nothing, and out of nothing, my ministry will come out. He said, wow. And by the day when I was still in Bible college, about to graduate, the ministry kicked off. God gave us grace. I was confessing it. I was passing one day, and I saw a building I loved so much. It's two-story building. I went to that particular building. I They were painting it. I went around about it. I went around about it. I went around about the building. I, I was praying, going from room to room. 
husband was praying. I was admiring what they were doing. They don't know I was claiming it. Uh, Bible says, whatever the soul of your future thought, that become your own. I told you, faith is acting on the word of God. Faith is saying what God said, not what your doctor said, not what your situation said, not what the tradition of your life said, not what the tradition of your family said. Faith is saying what God said and believing what God believed and acting. Maybe it's but next time, I'm going to tell you the difference between faith and belief. Faith and belief. Even hope. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I was walking around about, claiming. After that, I came down. I went and told somebody to ask me. The, he asked me how much it is. I told him he was shouting and shouted for one year. I said, yes. I said, the man can even take six months. I've not discussed six months with the man. I said, the man can even take six months. I want to believe it. He gave me one month, Salah, one month for that place. I went immediately and went to one particular church. I dropped it in their offering box. Mmm, mama, 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 mama. That was about 33, 34. That, that was about 33, 34 years ago. I went to the offering box. I dropped it over there. Wow. The church was shouting. If you see the kind of seed, yeah, if you see the kind of offering, because it was the big money in those days. But that was only one month's salary. And when I went back to school, a woman was sick. I was introduced to that woman. She was paralyzed. We prayed. We prayed. We prayed. God healed the woman. She stood up, lifted up her hand, and paralysis went away. By faith, nothing shall be impossible. Miracles of God are there. And before you understand it, the woman called me again when I went by. He said, what can I do for you? What can I do? Tell me, tell me, what can I do? She was a rich woman. I began to introduce this to her. She told me, forget about it. She gave me six months salary. And when I came and paid, he said, did you accept it? I said, yes, sir, yes, sir, yes. My yes, my yes, my. She was so happy. Everything I was using in the ministry in those days, bought the benches, bought the seat, everything. She bought all of them single handedly. It is as a result of faith. It is faith that brought it. But the day I went to pray for her, the Lord said, after leading her to Christ, the Lord said, Don't pray for her, go. I obeyed. Faith is acting on the word of God. Two days later, the Lord said, Go and pray for her. Two days later, I came and prayed for her. She received a miracle, she received a healing. With God, nothing shall be impossible. Stop being a pooper. Come on, develop a bigger ideas right now. It's the idea that rules the world. From, look at what the Bible said. And the, from, the word came from not God trusted himself. He used the same word. Look at Genesis chapter 1. Genesis, the word you're saying was created out of nothing. Everything you need is inside of God already. For Jesus, the Bible said there was nothing that was created that was not created by him. Every strata, every breed, even if you cut three inside, the spams inside it, and the whatever, the spams him. Everything is created by God. He knows them. Lift up a sound in your hand. You don't know the number, but God knows the number. And this is the God you are dealing with. This is the maker of the whole universe. This is the ability and grace and power that is given to you. And you are still doing it. No, no, no. Look at Genesis chapter 1 verse 3. And God said, let the be light. And what happened? There was light immediately. So when you speak the word of God, the angels of the Lord and the power of God, I mean the Holy Ghost will now pyam, act it immediately. When you ask by faith, Bible says, when you ask wavering and shivering, no, 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 no. By, by the time you ask by faith, you stand by faith, pray by faith, ask by faith, it will happen immediately. It will happen like that. Look at verse 6. Look at what verse 6 in the same Genesis chapter 1. Genesis chapter 1 verse 6. Look at verse 6. And God said, let there be firmament in the midst of the waters and let it divide the waters from the waters. Oh, when you are a man of faith, you are a commander. You speak a word, it will come to happen. Are you hearing me? You know, you are speaking from the resources of the whole universe. You are speaking from power of curation. When you speak, it happens like that. Oh God, I cannot pay my house rent. I don't want to be homeless. I don't want to be homeless. I don't want to... Ah, come on, stop that nonsense. Speak to the world. It's because you have not been a giver. If you have been a giver, you have an account with the Lord. Whenever there is need, you say, God, out of my account, out of what I have sown this seed. And you say, when I say you multiply and give back to me, in the name of Jesus, I have done this, I have done this. It cannot happen. When Hezekiah was about to die, he said, God, have I not done this? Have I not done this? Have I not done this? And God said, you will not die again. Even by the time I appear, when God said that you go last year, Jesus was standing before the Father and said, Father, look at what he has done for the poor. Look at what he has done for the widows. Look at what he has done for the fatherless. Don't take him away so that these people will not be hopeless. For now, they are not ready. Now, what of the reason why I came back here on earth? Do you have works that are speaking on your behalf? There are works that are to speak on your behalf. After you have lived a holy, righteous, pure, sanctified, dedicated life, add faith to it. After adding faith, add work to it. Faith without work is dead. 
When you say you have all the faith and your faith have not produced anything, then your faith is the dead faith. Your faith must be active faith. A living faith. A producing faith. A talking faith. A manifesting faith. That's what your faith should be. What are talking about? He said he created the world out of nothing. He spoke a word because of what? He so much trusted in himself. God believes in himself. Do you believe in yourself? Faith and patience move together. Faith and patience. I have, no matter the donkey is in state, I know it will happen. I have prayed. I have believed. And that settles it. Hey, look at verse 9. Look at verse 9 of the same Genesis. Genesis chapter 1. Look at the same verse 9. And the Bible says, And God said, Let the waters under the heaven be gathered together unto one place. And let there, let the dry ground appear. And it was so. Everything God speak will happen. Everything God will speak will happen. We were praying in my house. When was it? Some three, four days ago. I didn't know where something came in. Pa, 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 pa. Was flying in. Pa, pa, this, this I said, I bind you in Jesus' name. Stick, stick somewhere so that you can die. The thing, pia, 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 pia. Ah! Went and stick somewhere. My son just went, just with one hand, removed the thing. The thing is dead and threw it away. You have authority. Authority must be of faith. Not as much as like that. Come. You begin to cry. Hey, blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus. There are battles. God has given you power to fight. Are you hearing me? Every battle, God is clean and neat over there. You are in charge of here. What you decide here will happen. Is, did, he, did he not say, what will bind you on earth is bound in heaven, and what will lose your earth is lose the heaven? Did he not say that? Then God is clean and neat over there. Why are you disturbing him? His territory is okay. He's guiding it. Why can't you guide your territory? It must be by faith. Are you hearing me? It must be by faith. Speak the word of faith. Speak the way God speaks. God didn't come down and begin to shake and begin to do this. Da, 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 da. God, I want to get settled. Give me the best kind of wife. I must have this type of wife. Well, before I got married, I told God the type of wife I needed. That's why the day I met her, I said, wow, this is the one. No, 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 no. She must be the one. She must be the one. This is the kind. I have a choice. I have a desire. Let me tell you. Many of you don't have choice. God, give me Byron. Give me Byron. I need Byron. I need Byron. In the house of God. The biro, the, 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 the biro you're talking about, in the, the pen, not, you know, it is the producer of this one that is called Bic, which is biro. But I'm talking about pen. Give me a writing implement, pen. There are assorted types of pen. The one they use in Germany is not the one they use in, in Africa. The one they use in America is not the one they use in London. Millions of them. Thousands of different types. Are you asking God for biro, biro? God will say which type. Mmm. Somebody went somewhere and they was demanding for uh, something. He said, oh, you're welcome, you're welcome, you're welcome. To tell you how plenty God is and how rich he is. Anything you demand, God have them in hundreds of thousands and millions different types. It depends on the type you want. Let me tell you, the rich man here on earth. Somebody went to a rich man's house. And before you understand it, he said, please. Uh, oh, you're welcome, you're welcome. What can I use to give you call? I said, anything. He said, no, no, no. I said, I need a drink. He said, fine. Oh... You need something to drink. He said, okay. He said, do you need beer or do you need, uh, uh, you need beer or you need uh, 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 soft drink? He said, I need soft drink. He said, okay. Uh, 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 you need wine uh, 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 or you need malt or you need uh, mineral. He said, hey, give me mineral. He said, do you want it chilled or do you want it cold? He said, I want it chilled. He began to ask him to, how many different, uh, he said, what brand of mineral do you have? We have Fanta here. We have Coke here. We have Merinda here. He said, uh, I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg, give me cola. He said, okay, we have Pepsi cola here. We have, um, uh, 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 we have Pepsi cola here. We have Coca Cola here. He said, hey, I tire for question. Because it's plenty and abundant, they have it much. He said, I beg, give me water. He said, water? He said, okay, okay. What kind of water do you want? He said, water again, what? Okay. He said, we have bottled water and we have packaged water. He said, which one is bottled water? Which one is packaged water? He said, okay, I need bottled water. I said, okay, very beautiful. Uh, he said, uh, do you need the cold one or, 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 or normal one? He said, hey, I need the normal one. Please, what brand is your type? Uh, we have ever water here. We have this here. We have this here. Well, the brother said, I'm okay. <laughs> I'm okay. That's the way it is in the house of the Lord. That's the way it is in the house of the Lord. We're talking about faith. One sister came to me one day and was talking to me that I want to get married. I said, bring out your Bible quickly. 
You have been asking God, I want to get married, but you have not really told him what you needed. Bring her to a biro. He brought her to a biro. I said, what kind of man do you want? A short man, a tall man, an average man. He said, an average man. I don't need two tall people. I don't need two short men. I said, right. You want him dark or uh, a dark man you love or a fair man? He said, hey. I said, come on, be telling me. You want him to be a businessman? Uh, you want him to primary six, secondary school, or a, gra a graduate? He said, graduate is okay. From secondary school to graduate is okay. I said, okay. You want him to be a civil servant, self-employed, or a businessman? He said, I would like a businessman. I was asking, I said, from what tribe do you want him? He said, that is too much. I said, come on, tell me, this is the choice. We prayed. I said, when we tablet this thing, by the time I wanted to get married, I tabletted all I needed. I told God I needed this type of lady, a graduate she must be. She must have been so, so, so here in the Lord. She must have been granted in the Lord. I gave him desire of what I needed. That's why when I met my wife, I didn't go into much prayers. Because I've already told God by faith what you desire and what you wanted. By the time that thing appeared, you don't need to pray too much again. It's because you don't have a choice. I was asking a lady, what kind of man do you say need to happen? Let him be a man. Let him be putting on trousers. In fact, let him, as far as he's a man, I am ready to marry. I say you don't have a choice. It will be difficult for you to get an answer. Faith must do, make it to be impossible for God. God will tell you I'm an impossible specialist. By the time the prophet of Baal have done anything, Elijah brought his son and poured water. They are talking of fire and he poured water to make it difficult for God. That is faith we are talking about. Child of God, I feel like talking and talking and talking. But when I look at the time, I see the time is flying and passing so that I don't get bored. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is about faith. Hmm? This is about faith. Spoken word. By the time Jesus came here on earth, he manifested the same faith again. Look at the first marriage you went in Canaan. What happened? That is the same word God was using in speaking. Uh -huh. Was it not the same word he spoke? The mother came and said, hey, that's not, why do the mother know? He knew there's an ability in Jesus. People know there's power in you. Expose that power. Bring it to now. That anointing power, you don't need it in heaven. It's only here you need it. Somebody went to heaven and came with healing and came with discovery and came with all this. Say, God, ah, people of earth are wicked. All this you gave to me. I came back with all of them. Oh, receive them, take them. God said, this is healing ability I gave to you. You didn't use it for people. Hey, we don't need it here in heaven. I gave you wisdom, a medicine you're going to produce that is going to heal a lot of people. And because you're myopic and wicked, you didn't do it on earth. I gave you a beautiful song. You got to sing for people on earth. And all these things, you came back with it. You didn't do well at all. You don't need this thing. Manifest here on earth and you'll be honored in heaven. Are you hearing me? Thank God I want to come out of my shade. What are the part of me that have not been used? Jesus spoke a word. Mary told them this and they believed. Look at faith in action. Jesus now told them, pour the water into those vessels. They pour it. He spoke a word. Pour water in there and said, carry it out. Go and give to the people. The people that were told this thing did not test it. To know if it is water or if it has done to anything. They didn't test this. And they were told according to the word of Jesus. They acted according to the word. They carried it. If you read the book of John. You know. If you read the book of John chapter 2. From verse 3 to 10. John chapter 2. From verse 3 to 10. John chapter 2. From verse 3 to 10. Oh my, 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 my. If you read it from there. The Bible, the word of God said, Jesus said unto her, Woman, what have I to do with thee? My hour is not yet come. His mother said unto the servant, Whatsoever he said unto you, do it. And there was said, There are six waters of stone. After the matter of the purifying of the Jewish, containing two or three, five skin apiece. Verse 7, Jesus said unto them. That's the spoken word. Jesus said unto them, Fill the waters. Or fill the pots with the water. And they filled them up to the brim. And he said again, Come out. You have filled it up. He said unto them again, Draw out now and bear unto the governor of the feast. And they bear it out. They did it. Are you acting according to the word of God? God will say, do this. He said, but tell me a reason. No, before I do it, tell me. You begin to argue with God. You begin to argue with God. Preach on this place. Preach on this. Tell me why should I preach? Forgive, forgive, forgive. Lord, tell me why should I forgive? Is he not the one that hurt me? This other. These people did not argue. God wants to do something powerful and miraculous. He wants you to live by faith and move by faith and act by faith and see it by faith and move in a supernatural way. You are not seeing it the way God is seeing it. That's why you're not moving in the line of the Lord. God has dropped a lot of people who are anointing quenchers, who are faith quenchers. 
consequential. He has dropped them along the way and he's moving on with people that have faith and confidence in him, with people that believe who he is. Have he dropped you along the line? Are you among the argumentators that say, hey, you never know me. Even the word of God, you begin to argue the word of God again. When the ruler, verse 9, when the ruler of the fields had tested the water that was made wine and knew not whence it came from, but the servant quit drew the water. No, there are miracles that will happen in your city, in your town. People will not know the source. Only you, only you, only you will know the source of the miracle. Only you will know the source of it. Oh my God. The governors of the fields called the bridegroom. The bridegroom don't even know what the miracle is. That means there are some work you will do. People, some people will take glory. Eh? Don't mind. Don't go ahead doing it. After doing this, these people will take glory. Forget about it. God knows who won the soul. The soul you won, somebody's claiming it. Forget about it. Forget about it. Do the miracle. Don't do the needful. God knows what to do. And again, and said unto him, verse 10, every man at the beginning of the, at the beginning do set for all good wine. And when men have were drunk, then that which is what? But thou hast kept the good wine until now. This beginning of the miracle did Jesus, miracle did Jesus in Canaan of Galilee and manifested for all his glory and the disciples believed in him. Tell me why can't they believe in him? When he's a man of faith, when he acts by faith, when there's a miracle of faith, not to Martin, fear will first of all come and then, no, he manifested by faith. It must be by faith. Many of you have been praying. <sighs> I want to see Jesus. What can somebody do? And Jesus talked to you. It is by faith. I will show you something before we pray together. I will show you something before we pray together. By the divine grace of God, I will show you something. There's a word of Jesus. I believed. I believed and I so much live by this word. Look at what Jesus said in the book of John chapter 14 verse 21. Those of you that say, I want to hear God talk. I want to, it is not difficult. It's because I've already seen it as impossibility. I want to, him to manifest. I want to look at what he said in the book of John chapter 14 verse 21. Live by faith and no more by fear. We're talking about faith. We're exposing this chapter. We have done, we uh, exposed chapter 1, uh, verse 1, uh, uh, Hebrew 11. We have talked about verse 1, verse 2, verse 3. But next time we'll start from verse 4. Don't miss one day. We invite people more. Tell them, come and rebuild your faith again. Come and put your faith in something. Your faith must hook on something. There are people, their faith is in their brother. Oh, my brother will come and help me. There are people, their faith is in their husband. Oh, my husband will come and help me. There are people, their faith is in their mother. My mother will come and help me. There are people, their faith is in their father. Well, there are people, their faith is in their pastor. When my pastor prays, it happens. But God wants our faith to be in Jesus. When you trust Jesus and believe him, the word of Jesus cannot fail. Look at what the Bible said in the book of John 14, verse 21. He that had my commandments and keep them. He it is that loveth me. Oh my God. Have you seen it working now? When you hear the word of God and then you believe it, you keep them. He it is that loveth me. God have separated those that love him from those that doesn't love him. And he that loveth me shall be loved by my father. When you love Jesus, the Father will love you. Then look at the striking point. And I will love him. Oh my God. And I will manifest myself to him. Are you looking for manifestation of Jesus? Do you want him to talk to you? Or come when you are praying? Or come to you in dream and vision? This is all you do. This is the secret. And I will manifest. He's not a drunk that he will speak what he cannot do. Eh? I will manifest me. And whenever the glory of God and presence of God is happening around you, three things will happen. You see yourself humble, you see yourself happy, and you see yourself holy. The three hash that happens, the three happening hash, when the presence and glory of God is there, you'll be humble. Yes, you'll be happy, and you holy life, holiness. Child of God, for how long will you brood in your mentality, in your own thinking? But how can this then happen? You argue everything, including the word of God. Can't you throw away your human whatever? I said today I can be healed. That person in we share can get up right now and begin to heal, walk. Because the Bible says you have been healed already by the stripes of Jesus. You're wasting time in that we share. Get up. I said, get up, get up, get up, get up and walk. Cancel every appointment you have with that doctor. One woman came here. Even a woman who can call an unbeliever. A woman of over 80 years. I told me she had been taking drugs. She had not been working. Today she wants to abandon drugs to the word of God. She came with all the drugs in her house. Handed them over to me and said, man of God. I prayed. She get up and walk and become healed. Every day. 
Have you swallowed morning on? Have you swallowed afternoon on? Have you swallowed night on? Uh, my doctor said. Uh, 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 My doctor said, you can't say my creator said. You have so quoted doctor, more than you quoted God. More than you quoted your creator. More than you quoted Jesus. Do you think he will be happy? When you are a friend to somebody, you'll be fond of that person. Not if somebody wants to first say, my Lord Jesus, say, call upon me in the days of trouble, I will hear you. My Lord Jesus. It's not small fear. It's a Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. They obtained a good report. The whole world you are seeing is created out of nothing. You can start out of nothing. Don't you see in Nigeria what happened after 19, 1970, after the end of the war? Every multi-millionaire, millionaire, poor man in Ibo land, any amount of money you have in the bank, 20 pounds will be given to you. Today, what is happening? With the 20 pounds, have they not spread everywhere in the world? Have they not become multi-billionaires and, and a, a great rich men? You can start from nothing. I say you can start from all you need there is faith. All you need there is faith. You move by faith, walk by faith, live by faith. God will provide your daily food. Where you are is not important. You might be in the village. Hmm? Don't trees in the village bear fruits. Even that tree inside the forest, nobody plucks it. It bears fruit. Man of God, child of God. You say where I am is not town. It's not America. It's not London. Where I, where I am is a village. Where Me, where I am is in a village. It's not important. From here, anybody can hear my voice all over the world. Where I am is not important, but who I'm connected to is important. God spoke to me one day. I went to a suburb village to preach, and God spoke to me and said, Tell these people because you're in a village does not mean you have a village God. The trees in the town are bearing fruit. Men of God are walking there. The ones in the village are there not bearing fruit. Even the ones in the town, before understanding the cotton, I'm folded before it will ripe. But the one in the village ripe naturally. The ones in the bush ripe naturally. Wherever you are, bear fruit. Wherever you are, bear fruit for the Lord and walk by the power of his might and great things will happen. God bless you. God bless you. As you go and be provoked, as far as you listen on this faith, you must be provoked every day you listen to it. Something will trigger inside of you. You go and start and fight back. Ah, how can you be empty-handed and all the things God have equipped you with? The glory, the anointing, the unction, the favor, miracle, they are all taken away from you. For what? them back. Since the dead are done above the kingdom of forever, men and women of all them will take them by force. I'm afraid. I won't send money to the village. I'm not going to send them money. Eh, Daddy, I don't want to give them money so that they don't use it. They are diabolic. They are... Yeah! You and your God are weak. You and your world God are... Come on! Arise! And do something needful. It's not only holiness. In the money you talk holy. In the, if you are holy and you don't have faith, you live in bondage. Elijah was a holy man, but he was a man of it. Then he logged heaven. For three and a half years, it worked. They obtained a good report. What is a testimony? What is a faith testimony? A lot of things he would have done. A miracle would have happened. You're afraid. You ran away. You ran away. Even some clips of deliverance are sent some people. They say, I will not watch it in the night. Too. No, this deliverance. No, 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 no. I will not watch it in the night. Some people, when they are, where deliverance is going, they say, I cover myself in the blood of Jesus. I cover myself in the blood of Jesus. I cover myself in the blood of Jesus. Hmm? Why? Why not talk to yourself? I say, do I really know God? Without faith, it's impossible to please him. We're coming to that. You can't please God without faith. But tell him tonight, I want to have a report, a good report. And the, I want to start from something. I, I want to start from nothing. So that nobody, do you know when you start from nothing, nobody will come and say without me, this wouldn't have happened, this wouldn't have happened. Because you didn't start with that person, you started from nothing. There are, let me tell you, oh, somebody's often already is shaking. My, 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 my. You don't know what is happening to you. You were brewed up by somebody and this thing, and now God said you are a child of his. He will shake you. A shaking is happening around about you. So that those things, men and people that established you with, God said they will go. You will be established by him. So that nobody will take glory in your life. God said he had somebody taking his glory. God is taking you far. And that is why shaking it is happening. So that no man will say, I am the one that lifted you up. God will lift you up. And his name will be praised. You have a testimony. And out of nothing, something good will come out. Shall we pray? Lord, I thank you. 
I give you praise and worship you. Every adoration, dominion, and thanksgiving to your name. Can you begin to talk to him? Can you say, God, I want to have a report. I want to have a report. I want to obtain a good report. I want to have a very good report. I want a good report means testimony. Testimony of things they miraculously did. Say, God, give me testimony. Give me testimony. Where everybody couldn't do it, you use me to do it. Where it could not happen, where they say it doesn't happen, and out of me now, it has begun to happen. That's a testimony I want to live. Oh, even if I leave the earth today, let me have a footprint and the mark I left here on earth. Can you begin to pray? Can you begin to pray? Can you begin to pray? My share Ba, 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 ba. Everybody passed through this experience, and before you came, you made that trouble in your family. You made this and that, and today you have transformed everywhere. Today you have renewed everywhere. Today you have renovated everywhere. It has no more been there. That history of evil, negativism, your family is no way. You are the one that transformed everything, and God used it to His own glory. And out of nothing, not even from penny from your father, not even from kobu from your mother, not even from dime from anybody. You grew up. Wow, 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 wow. Your total family is a stranger to your riches. They didn't contribute anything. All they contributed is that they bond you. And where your wealth come from, they were not part of it. Oh, come on. That is faith. 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 Every year you must not be a beginner. Every year you must not be a complainant. Come on, come talk to God. They tell you there's a demon in the village doing this and doing that. You begin to, it's affected this person. You begin to believe this is failure. You must not fail because the other person fell. You must not fail because your father fell. He didn't have, he had only one boy. And that's why you're having only one boy. He hadn't a, a, a baby boy. This and that. No! You must not fail. Because everybody in that family have divorced. You must divorce. No! You stand the light. And a different person altogether. Mashara Makunda. I saw so age, everybody will begin to fail. It's not true. I saw so age, people will die. It's not true. There's a particular day that is haunting you. On that particular day, people, 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 that particular moon, that particular week, a lot of people have died in your family. Come on, revise it. Stand and revise it and say it cannot happen. That is why you're a man of faith. That's why you're a child of faith. We're talking about faith. Thank God God gave me to me and said, discuss it with my people. Mashara Makunda, da, da, da. I don't know death that is troubling. I reverse that death. Is it death of death? Death, people die in your family. It must be so, 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 so death. I revise it now. Is it a particular month? Is it a particular day? Is it a particular way? I revise it now. It can no more be. If you agree with me, say amen. If you're the one I'm talking about in your family, a particular time, a particular date, a particular week, a particular month, somebody die, anytime they will die, it must be that month, that week, or that day. I revise it and say it shall never be again. In the mighty name of Jesus, if you're listening to me and God is talking about you or your family, can you just write amen and that will settle it forever and ever. Shankara Makunda Sentoro Bukudada. I'm waiting for you. If you're the one God is talking about, just type Amen. And that will be the end of it. Makandra Hinda Shuria Mama Mama. Menseria Baba Baba Baba. I can see you writing Amen. So that's the end of it. I revise it today because you have agreed with me already. My faith and your faith have moved together. I revise it today. I hold on your faith. I revise it right now. I hold on your faith. I revise it right now. All of you writing Amen and Amen and Amen. I revise it right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Son of the living God, no more such date anymore, no more that particular month anymore, no more that particular week anymore, no more that particular day of the day anymore, I revise them now, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the son of the living God, it is revised right now, totally and entirely right now, it is revised, uh, and the particular demon that I sent to perpetuate this destruction on the particular day, I destroy it, I say it will no more happen, I say it cannot be, for I have agreed with these people, we have spoken by faith, we have lived by faith, and spoken faith, it shall no more be. In Jesus' mighty name we decree. Amen. All oh, the amen already written and the one to be written. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Can you begin to talk to God? Can you begin to tell him again? Can you begin to tell him, Lord, I want to obtain a good report. Say, out of nothing, I want to prosper. Not from the riches of my family, not from the riches of my elder brother, my sister. My... I want you to do miraculous things for me. Jephthah came back, Makadada, a great and powerful man, not from the riches of the family, and they bow for him. When you get your blessings and favor outside your family, your knowledge, your greatness, they will bow for you. Tell him, Lord, 
I want to get off my comfort zone. I want to get off my comfort zone. I want to get off my comfort zone. I have been so comfortable here. Father, throw me where I will be made a man. Where I will be made a woman. Man, shara, makunda, da, da, da. Help me. Tell me to do the impossible. Help me to do the impossible. So that people will look at my testimony and say, this is really a testimony. I want to do what nobody has done in my family before. I want to achieve what they have not achieved before. I want to get to where they have not gotten before in life. That is faith. That is faith. That is faith. That is faith. Can you begin to pray? Can you begin to pray? Can you begin to pray? Can you begin to pray about him? Can you begin to pray? And God can do all things. Yes, begin to pray. By the anointing, Jesus broke the yoke. By the Holy Ghost and power, just as the prophet said. This is the days of later rain. The Lord is moving by might again. By the anointing, we shall break the yoke. It's not by mind. It's not by power. By my spirit, says the Lord. Mm. Father, I begin to pray. If you have listened to us and with us and you're not born again, you're just only wasting your time. You can never please God as a sinner. You have money, but you don't have peace because you don't have Jesus. You have education, you have a good family, but peace is not there, joy is not there because you don't have Jesus. Today, you want to break every protocol of the tradition of your life and family and want to come over to Jesus. He is the healer, he, is the, uh, uh, he has the power of life and death in his hand. He can do all things. Is that Jesus you need in your life? Can you say after me? Do you want him in your life? Can you say, Lord Jesus, come into my life. I receive you today as my Lord and Savior. Oh Lord, my King, watch me with your blood. Forgive me every sin. Give me grace to live for you and for you alone. Today, I forsake my old ways. I forsake my old life. I turn to you. I forsake my idols. I come to you. I receive you today, Lord, as my King, as my Lord, and my Savior. Give me grace to be your child, now and forevermore. Amen. May the grace be given to you to be a seed of God. May the grace be given to you to be living in righteousness. May the grace be given to you today. May your sin be forgiven. May great grace come into your life that you live a holy, clean, pure, sanctified, and a dedicated life. That you don't mess up your life with sin anymore. Let the righteousness of Jesus rule over your life. And let the God of life rule over you. And let Christ's name be honored in you. I cover you in the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' wonderful name we pray. It is well with you as the mercy of God come upon you in Jesus' name. As many that have listened to this word of God, Father, as many that have been challenged by this word of God, as many that have taken one decision or the other decision today, according to the word of God, I begin to ask you, ancient of the day, I begin to ask you, oh God, you have a, let them obtain good report. 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 May they obtain good report, oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Son of the living God, let them obtain good report, oh Lord. Father, as many that are hopeless right now, out of nothing less something come. Not from the help of the family, not the help of anybody, but the divine help of God. God can use anybody anywhere far away or near to help the person, to remember the person by faith. Now, you begin to do it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the son of the living God. I command impossibilities to be possible. I break the barriers of impossibilities in your life right now. Let every impossibility turn and become possible right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the son of the living God. Let the great grace and mighty hand of God flow in you and work in you. And let Christ name be honored forevermore. I cover you again in the blood of Jesus. From tonight, let your faith begin to bumble. Let your faith begin to bumble and let fear disappear. Everything about fear, God, die and disappear. And get out total land entirely. And the power of Jesus walk upon you. Your faith be lifted up again. Your faith be rebuilt again. Your faith stand up and high again. That you will boldly preach Jesus of Nazareth with the signs and wonder following as you're preaching this word. Life and power will flow you and great grace of God will follow you. God said, I should tell you, you don't wait to be called. 
as a man of God, a woman of God, because you pray for that sick person. Come on, God said has given you anointing for healing. Go and pray for that person. Even that person in the wheelchair, even that dumb person. Come on, go and pray. It is not you that does the miracle or do the miracle. It's God that does the miracle. Pray. Don't be afraid if it doesn't happen. Pray. A miracle will happen. God wants to use us as instrument of honor to the glory of his soul in them. May you be a powerful instrument in the hands of the Lord. Purity and holiness become your portion and then you have faith. The whole world will bow for you. Jesus was a holy one and he has faith and no wonder miracles and signs and wonders were working in his ministry. It's not us and we are not the one taking the glory. In any way we have taken the glory of God, forgive us. In any way, God said there's somebody I have so used mightily started taking glory of God and the anointing started dying. Oh, Father forgive. Father forgive. In any way we, me and you have taken the glory of God, may God forgive us. Let there be a renewal of the anointing. Let there be a revisitation of the glory. Let there be a divine visitation again. Let there be a divine manifestation again. In the mighty name of Jesus. To you be other glory, Lord. Thank you, Daddy, for this great miracle you've done. Hallowed be your name as a peace rule of our lives. In Jesus' wonderful name we pray. Amen. God bless you. By Wednesday, by Monday, we're going to talk about this faith again. And by Wednesday again. And by Sunday, we're going to talk about He took my place. We're preaching these two powerful messages. Different message on, on Sunday and different one on Monday and to Wednesday. So that you'll be blessed and so that you'll be fed with the word of God. So that you will not tell God, I am abroad, I am so so place. I don't hear enough of word of God. I don't hear about holiness. I don't hear about righteousness. You have had holiness, you have had righteousness. You're hearing about faith this time around. So that you will team up and become great. May God bless you. I love you all. And Jesus loves you more. May we do more for him. May we do more for him. May we do more for him. May we do more for the Lord. May we do more for the grace of God. In the name of Jesus, it is well. God bless you. Go with this mind. Go with this faith. And be a different person altogether. You are no more a complainant. You are now in charge of the situation. You are now fully in charge of the situation. And no more a complainant. You are no more by the side. You are no more controlled by fear. You can speak the word right now. And see the word acting. And see the word moving. And no more you doing it. It's not by mind. It's not by power, by my spirit, says the Lord.